Hello everyone, it's Homestar92, and welcome to more Let's Play Link's Awakening DX. You may recall our last video, in which um, we did a lot of stuff, including get most of the way through this dungeon. So, in this part, I believe that it is going to be time for me progress the story forward. Alright, actually, first thing I'm going to want to do is change that switch. That will be very useful to me, for reasons we will discuss soon. Because... I'm thinking... What I need to do lies in this one. Though, that being said, I could be wrong. And likely am. So I'll tell you what. Let's go on back to the very entrance of the room. We need to go up, up again, and left, and then we need to go up. Now, there should be some green gels in this room. Ah! That would be what I need to do. Haha, -ha, thank you, strange glitch, for giving me the ability to see without actually doing what I'm intended to do. Where's that last guy going to pop up? Because I can almost guarantee you there's going to be more. I'm going to light this up, though, just so that way it's fair. And, you know, I'm fulfilling the same requirement as if I were on a cartridge. <laughs> so. Definitely need the Pegasus. Or the <laughs> Pegasus. The Rock's Feather for this. For these side scroller sections. Watch out for old Sparky over here. And that's not good at all. Let's change the orientation of our electric... <coughs> I don't know why I started saying electric. The crystal switch. There. So. In order to most effectively do this, I'm going to want... to place a bomb right here. <coughs> Sorry about that. No, I hate when that happens. There we go. And then I need to progress on my way. Now I go down the stairs. And now I should have no trouble whatsoever with getting through. If you can avoid old Sparky, by all means, jump on the Goombas, they give you a heart. I mean, it just kind of makes sense. Now, in this room, you have to defeat wizards. Sounds fun, doesn't it? Well, it's not. Wizards kind of suck. There we go. And now, I can open this chest, and I got a more powerful bracelet. Now I can almost lift a whale. Maybe I could just lift the windfish. That would wake him up. Just kind of, you know, pick him up and throw him out into the water like in that movie Hancock. That'd be pretty cool. So now that I can destroy these things, this dungeon becomes a lot easier. Suddenly, I have a reason to go on. That reason, of course, being that... Well, I'm not 100% sure yet, actually. One of those reasons is I can go up here, and I can actually do what you're supposed to do. And go down this here stairwell. 
and switching items yet again. I've been spoiled by Ocarina of Time and it's having four slots in this. And I don't have any keys. So I am going to kill all of the floor tiles. Get a key that way. Well, you know, hey. I may have taken two hits, but at least I got my key. Okay, now I'm just being careless. And of course, <clears throat> if you don't know, if you haven't figured out by now, throwing crap at doors makes them open for you. Just thought I'd let you know that. I hate these rooms. They basically come down to a 25% chance that I happen to get on the first try because I'm freaking awesome like that. So, you know. You might know the game too well when you don't even have to stop and think about stuff like this. I remember there being something you could do that would kill those guys almost instantly. Let's give this a try. Well, it wasn't that. Let's try bow and arrow. <coughs> Obviously, I understand it's not going to be instant. And I have no more arrows. Hookshot, maybe? Maybe I can just throw a pot at them. I really hope that works, because I'm kind of out of ideas at present. Glad it worked. I don't have to worry about it. The dongo snakes, not even the slightest bit difficult these days. I do primarily to the fact that this room kind of forces them to move in predictable ways. It's layout with all of the holes. I mean, they come to a corner, they have to turn. Obviously. So, I mean, how much can they really do? The answer, of course, is not a lot. And he turned at just the right moment. Yes, I know there's a glitch where you can leave the room after killing one, and the other one won't respawn. Yeah, 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 I know. But, I'm not a cheater. I'd rather play the game right. I'm not gonna exploit some glitch just to beat the game faster. No, sir. Until my Ocarina of Time run. Then all bets are off. I'm gonna hold off on going that way just because I want to. And because I know that this route can only lead so far. I don't want, I don't want Mr. Zap Zap killing me. Yes, I did just make a name up for him. Alright, so... I am so glad that this switch happened to be turned the right way. Not that it would have been a huge deal, but it would have been a little bit annoying. And now I get to take my 25% chance. And succeed on the third try. Well... It would have been a statistical normalcy if I had succeeded on the fourth, but actually, the fact that I succeeded by the fourth attempt it pretty much means that 25% is right on. So, you know. Um, let's go ahead and go across first, except no, I don't have a key. Let's not. Let's instead kill these guys and get a key. The question is, can I do anything? I don't believe so. I think I have to find a way to loop back around, which I could do pretty easily. It's gonna be annoying, but I can do it. I love how this game lets you have 999 rupees without actually... Um... Oh, uh, what was I gonna say? Okay, so they're nice and they give you arrows. 
I'm gonna kill these guys just a little bit faster. And do it with two arrows. Okay, so I've got down and left as possible paths. I've never been down. Of course, it didn't really end up mattering much, now did it? And I believe in this room it is likely possible to render your game unbeatable. Like I just did. Hop on top of the crystals to move forward. What? I'm confused. I cannot do anything. I guess this means I am stuck. Well then, can I get out this way? Never heard of a Zelda game being that mean. Oh well. Nothing we can't handle. Not a thing. Okay. So... I now have to wait, of course. So lovely weather we've been having, isn't it? I still like how Link's sword and swung really fast, kind of... The middle frame of the animation kind of looks like a pickaxe. Sorry, I played too much Minecraft, can you tell? I wonder if that... Okay, that opens that door. Now. I just killed, you know, three of them with one arrow. That was pretty cool. Now, if I don't change that switch, I'm still not going to be able to get in there. So I have to go find a switch that I can change before I can do anything. Which should be pretty easy to do, but should and is aren't always the same. I think there's a switch right over here. No, it's the next room, I think. I'll get to it eventually. Ah, well, as long as we're here, might as well kill one more bird. Let's get a couple more things. First off, let's get this chest, which is just rupees. I don't really care about rupees anymore, to be honest. I really don't. I have no reason to. And there's this chest, which is more rupees, but at least it gets them off the map, so I'm no longer looking for things that aren't even really significant. Alright, so I'm going to make this video a little bit longer, just because I'd like to beat the boss in this video, if possible. But then again, who's to say it'll need to be longer? I mean, I'm more or less done with the dungeon. It might... The video will end up being less than 20 minutes, one way or another, so... It's not going to be, you know, enormously long and drawn out. I'm just kind of wanting to finish this tonight, because I've gotten the norm to myself. Um, I have no distractions right now, basically, is what it comes down to. Unlike Link, who, you know, throughout his entire quest, he has hundreds upon hundreds of ridiculous distractions. Now, I need my power bracelet back. And I still can't really get up there. Just die, please. Thank you. Oh, I know what to do. This isn't too difficult. That is really cruel to do it that way, but... Basically, it requires you to take a hit. 
I already had secret medicine, that was a complete waste of my life. But at least in making you take a hit, they are doing it for something that actually has some tangible reward. Okay. So now we need to go to the next portion of the level, which is going to be over here. And thank goodness for that not having a time limit, isn't it wonderful? And of course, you know, getting out the rock's feather for that one time that I need it is always fun. I haven't gone down yet. This might have been quicker and easier. What the deuce happened? That was interesting. Lovely. So if he successfully sucks you all the way in, you get to go all the way back and wait through all of these lovely rooms again that require you to do them every single time. I love that feature, don't you? In a 3D Zelda game, the fact that there aren't any chests under there would lead me to not want to go do it, but the fact that, you know, chests don't necessarily have to be in keys for this particular Zelda game leads me to want to go back and see what I missed. Obviously. So. Might as well switch to the Rock's Feather now. Gonna be needing it. Might as well switch back to the Power Bracelet, because I'm gonna be needing it. Might as well moonwalk out of the level, because that's just kind of awesome. Now I'm gonna kill this little guy. Send him back where he belongs. And of course he's gonna try as hard as he can to suck me up, but he's going to fail ultimately. Based on the grounds that, you know, just flat out better than he is. It's sad, but it's true. I truly, truly am. Killed that guy. You should have seen how hard I killed him. He's so dead it's not even funny. I shouldn't need the Pegasus boots. I should just be able to jump this. Well, let me rephrase that. If this game weren't completely unfair, I would be able to jump it. Unfortunately, this game is completely unfair, but it doesn't really look like I actually need to jump it, so... Okay. I am going to light this room up, based on the fact that there are empty torches. Kind of leads me to believe that there is going to be something of importance. I got this dungeon's item, so I don't understand what's behind that key door. And that one, I guess, just can't be lit. Ah, the boss key. That would make sense. That would make a lot of sense, actually. I don't know what you do if you're in here and you don't have bombs or arrows. But I guess that's something that the world may never know. Alright, well, unfortunately I'm getting really close to 20 minutes, which is a bit longer than I like my videos to be. Of course, he sucked me up. Alright, that's a good, as good a time as any to stop, so in the next part, I think we'll finish up this dungeon. Until then, I'm Homestar92. I'll see you guys next time. Later.